You've got questions? She's got answers. It's Ask Nurse Lisa. Hi, this is Nurse Lisa, and I appreciate you coming in for your appointment. You're right on time, because this is a very special Easter edition at Ask Nurse Lisa. If there was one thing that I would want to tell any patient who came before me looking for help and looking for assistance is that I've learned something that has never been disproven in my years as being a nurse and that's the mind, the body, and the spirit all work together as one. Just like every part of your body works together as one, when one part of your body is ill and has a problem, the rest of it starts to have some serious problems too. These are just facts and they've been scientifically proven. And when I talk to patients about their health, the power of positive thinking is something that cannot be ignored or denied regardless of your religious beliefs, regardless of any beliefs that you have. The evidence, the scientific evidence is absolutely overwhelming. One of my favorite stories that I like to share with others that I've learned and I'm going to post a link in the side so in the description for this video so that you will get to read more information about the amazing stories um, that I'm going to tell you. The first amazing story that I wanted to talk about uh, was a gentleman, a journalist, an author named Norm Cousins. If you do not know his amazing stories, then you really need to get online and, and, and read his books or at least read about his stories. This is a gentleman who was diagnosed with a very serious disease, a disease that was attacking the very collagen of his body, the, the, the glue that holds his cell, cellular structure together. Um, he got to where he was extremely debilitated and the doctors were not helping him. And the only thing he could do was to take charge of his illness. He, he locked himself away and basically rented a bunch of comedy movies such as the Marx Brothers, took that massive amounts of vitamin C, uh, potentially dangerous amounts actually. Uh, he felt like he didn't have anything to lose. Um, and did all these things that were kind of against conventional wisdom. He felt like he really didn't have anything to lose. And for all the details of what he did, you can go to his story, but this man actually healed himself and got better. And there is scientific proof to back up, you know, what happened to him. It wasn't like it was just some sort of a miracle in his case. But to me it was a very, very interesting story. Laughter itself changes chemistry in the body and all sorts of things in the body. And to me, in my way of thinking, there is no time like the present to, to develop a pattern of positive thinking. It's something that you have to do. It's something that you have to work on. It, it's not something that just comes naturally to people to be positive thinkers. And it's more than just being optimistic. It's letting your mind go. It's letting your mind go to a, a positive place. Not in, not in a place that's not based on reality but a, base, a place that's based on fun and just positive thoughts. This man healed himself 
and went on to live many more years, which the doctors did not expect him to do. And um, he even wrote further books. He ended up having heart disease later down the road and, and dealt with his heart disease in, in the same manner. He really um, tried to live his life the best way possible for himself, for, for him to be happy and healthy. You know, during Easter, there's a lot of talk about miracles. I've had three miracles in my life, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, personal miracles in my life, medical miracles in my life. So I believe in miracles and I believe they still happen today. But I also believe in the power of the human spirit. Uh, one of my friends, her sister, was in a very, very bad situation. She was working late at a store by herself. Um, a man came in at gunpoint. This man robbed the store, took her back into the back bathroom raped her brutally and then left her on the floor to die after he shot five bullets into her brain. After he shot her, she sat there and realized that she wasn't dead. She couldn't see. She couldn't hardly think straight, but she wasn't dead. And this man shot her at almost point-blank range in the head. She played dead for a few minutes to make her attacker think that she was dead. And he believed that she was dead, and he left. It took him a couple minutes, but he did. She managed to crawl from the bathroom without being able to see very well or think very well, and she managed to dial her friend because she was afraid that if she dialed the emergency services that they literally wouldn't believe her story. And it was bad enough because her friend that she called couldn't believe her story. I think she still has two out of the five bullets in her brain, but they removed the ones that were going to possibly cause her some serious trouble. That woman can talk. That woman can walk. That woman can do public speaking. So yes, I do believe that miracles do happen today. But I also believe that part of what happened to her was the miraculous placement of those bullets in her brain and the amazing power of her human spirit. Anyway, this Easter, I just wanted to share these things with you, and I'm going to leave some links in the video description. And I really appreciate the questions that you guys have been sending to me. Uh, they've been a lot of fun and a lot of great topics that you guys have brought up. You guys tend to just amaze me with what you've sent, and it's been a lot of fun for me, and I hope it's been a lot of fun for you. So send in your questions to AskNurseLisa at Yahoo.com, your video questions, and I will enjoy having you guys on the show. And we look forward to a lot of fun things coming up here on the program this year, and I hope that you're going to be able to be part of it. Hopefully new shows every week. And until next week, this is Lisa saying, be happy, be healthy. And happy Easter.
Whoa, whoa, whoa.